Hello, fans of Blood Bowl. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Fantastic. In the booth with me is Fymir. Welcome to the semi final of season 51. Antonaft and his Orcs versus Vava and his Chaos. Hello, Fymir. Hello, what the semi final we have here. A pure bash here. And this bash spectacular is dedicated to our viewers in Cyprus with the Ooh. capital of Nicosia. And they speak Greek and Turkish. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the national dish is the fasolada, and the national flower is the cyclamen of Cyprus. Mm. Very nice. And if there was a list of controversial uh, countries, Cyprus is very controversial. So we hit it on the nail again. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's a pretty good blood step, Mr. Throw, there, isn't it? Using the kickoff return to make himself a little bit more movement and catch the kickoff. Lovely, lovely thing. Of course, he could have been loads of. He could have had all of these skill ups on a uh, on a blitzer, but you know, never mind. <laughs> And the orcs need to do some serious banking at the beginning of the match because uh, there is claw in the chaos team, but there is no claw bomber. No, there's no piling on on either side. There's a bib for the orcs, um, and yeah, four mighty blow for the orcs and four mighty blow for the chaos, but the chaos have two claws as well. So it's probably about equal, honestly, on like bang potential. And then, yes. uh, obviously, more reserves for the Orcs. So it'll be interesting. A lot will come down to how the dice roll. Oh, nice. So he can... Uh, free his... Uh, mm, you would have thought he would have uh, chained him into, into two Orcs, so he couldn't do fuck all. <laughs> yes, yeah. but uh, at least that way he's not in contact with any uh, uh, goat. Mm, I, I would have much preferred to put him in, in contact. Yes. Personally. Hello, mate. Hello, Hello Dimmy. Hello, Dimmy. What's going on? <laughs> it's a Chalice semi final. How well, is it? Yes. Yeah. yes, it's just started and uh, just fucking around. I mean, yes, very meta, very lame teams, but there is a lot of mighty blood. There is going to be a lot of blocks, which is always good entertainment. Mm. Yeah, bang or be banged. Indeed, I mean, it's a jungle out there, and either you're, you're either piling on or getting piled. The thing is, the basics of this game is very easy. If Claw works, Chaos wins. If it doesn't work, Orcs win. At least on paper, unless there's some uh, crazy good plays or something like that. But yeah. <laughs> sorry, Fugnerada, had to ban you for that, obviously. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, you you uh, don't want to hear it, Jimmy. You're it, not a moderator here, Jimmy. You, Jimmy, you can see the oh secret yeah? text. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll have a read in a minute. <laughs> the secret text. You don't want. You don't want to see. He said something more stupid than anything that's ever been written in Blood Bowl Three Discord. No way, man. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not that stupid, but it's. You wouldn't agree with it. Drogba better than Bergkamp. What? Meta comment. Oh, <laughs> Meta comment. Him, Jim. I would have killed him. <laughs> I would have hunted him down and beaten him to an inch of his fucking wow. life. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> no, it's fair enough, isn't it? You know, of course, of course, people, you know, fans of teams are. Are biased, aren't they? And he is a legend, isn't he? In his own right, is Drogba. So I think. Uh, of course, fans of teams are idiots, Jim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, most of the time. Most, yeah. Most. To be fair, mostly they are just idiots. <laughs> oh dear. Are we going to see a GFI here? He could. He what he could do is he could put in a player here, and two and two players here and he could run all the way around and then blitz him and then chain him into there and get an extra hit it was just said for comedy effect he didn't mean it he here is a here is something that is quite funny how good would have Drogba have been had VAR been in the game when he was playing 
<laughs> Probably not as good as he was. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. I mean, he was really good, to be fair. He was really good. He wasn't Dennis Bergkamp level. Like, no but, way. But you, no can way, forgive, you can forgive Chelsea fans for thinking that. Uh, well, I can. Uh, I could never forgive a Chelsea fan, Jim. It's, uh... <laughs> Just for existing. You know, in, yeah. in the same way as, like, you know, Liverpool fans are going to think, you know, Gerard's better than whoever. You Gerard know, and... was pretty good, though. He like, was, so yeah. Fair. And, and Man U fans good. are going to think Cantona's better than whoever. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just that uh, Newcastle fans are going to think Cantona she was, was better pretty than good. He was, yeah. She was pretty good as well. She was, like, top top Premier League scorer of I all saw, time. I actually had the pleasure of seeing Shearer live, and he's a uh, dirty AF. Yeah. Yep. Like, he, yeah, he, he, crap. Yeah. Tennis players, no oh. curling. Ah, uh, Mankis in chat. Yeah, Mankis definitely wanting all the tacklers. The thing about the Chaos team is there are four tackle on the team, so very, very good for Chalice with four tackle. Only three on the pitch. Um, oh, wait, no, one must have been injured. They definitely had four tackle before. Yeah, he had four. Um, Any inducements, Jim? Just a babe for the Orcs. Just a babe for the Orcs. He could have sacked Mr. Fro and got a wizard, right? Mmm. Yes. He could have done, yeah. Maybe he should have done. But, but he needs uh, Mr. Fro for the final. He will lose his blood to stay sure uh, hands. Oh, yeah. he needs your hands for the final. Oh, because it's Dark Elves, isn't it? Yeah. The meat throttler. The meat throttler himself, yeah. He, oh, could have gotten, he could have gotten just a rookie uh, Mr. Throw then. Mm. I mean, whoever wins this is going to need a miracle in the final, not just the yeah. Mr. Throw. Like, do you know what I mean? Mr. Yeah. Throw is... <laughs> he's not going <laughs> to swing that. <laughs> no, he's not. Good evening, kill. <laughs> this, is, this is basically the runners-up uh, semi-final, isn't it, really? Basically, um, yeah. Here we have the line of orcs. Mm. Vertical it's, line it's, of it's orcs. Not, it's not a strong line. It's not a strong line. Some point uh, defense. Yeah. There's some. Uh, there's some stuff that could happen here. Yep. Far too much contact. Far too much contact. Well, is there is only uh, two. Yeah. To be far fair. too much. <laughs> <laughs> far too much. But it's instant 2D with the guards in the right. Like, you know, the guards were there, ready to come in and get. Uh, the oh, hang on. on. Hang on. What's... Yeah, he gets KO'd. Dimmy was right. Uh, again, again. Why? He hasn't got claw bomb, has he? With, uh... Oh my god. How's he got this far? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's one of the great mysteries of CCL. Oh, yeah, I guess he's rolled eights, isn't he? He's rolled eights. I and, guess uh... he has, yeah. A lot of them. Yep. <laughs> Which isn't even that hard, is it? Because, like, seven is an average dice roll, isn't it? On a 2D? Ish. Yep. Oh, double. Le double KOs. Mm. And the Orcs are looking a little bit sad. They are, aren't they? Huge. And, uh, I, and guess it, I guess he won the. Uh, as well. I guess he won the toss and uh, he opted for offense, thinking, yeah, I'll get to bang on him first. Probably did zero damage and then got absolutely smashed by chaos. Yep. <clears throat> if I, I mean, I would, I would be surprised if I hadn't played a thousand games exactly <laughs> like this in Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, oh, I won the toss. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, he's got wrestle. Well, now the orcs get a bunch of hits back, so we'll see. How many? Well, they got. They have uh, a lot of guard. Uh... He wants to be mighty blowing the uh, beastman rather than. Uh... I mean, obviously he wants to mighty blow whatever he can, but mm. uh, he's not got any mighty blow hits. Has he? he's got? He's got the one into one. Yeah, oh, have, and then uh, he's he got the a, blitz. He, yeah. he, he has a hit with the, the Chaos Warrior. I would like to blitz that uh, Claw Beastman at the back on the left. Mm. Oh no, hang on, it's still Chaos' turn or anything. Yeah, no, it's yeah, hard to get him. It's not 
two. He's got guard uh, on both sides, so it's pretty hard to get him. Oh, hang on. The claw is in the middle. He's not on the left. Yeah. Uh, it's because the skills are all over a little bit. <laughs> over <-rapping. laughs> So there we go. Get some power here. No dirty player, I guess. No bribes either. It's, just... Wait. it's not going to follow that, is he? He does follow that, okay. I'm not sure about that. No, it's a pretty anemic team, isn't it? Like, you know, he's got the 480 blow, but now one's one's been scuppered by these. Yeah, he could he could he could actually just stand him up, put in the guard, and then he could get the two D on him on the claw actually. To be fair, but then to do that he's got to give away a hit versus the claw, so it's not really great for him, is it? Well he's low on numbers now. He needs to he, he needs to go like snipe mode, doesn't he? Mm. I think he needs to pull out, Jim. I guess he's there. I mean, Light blow, to... black cork. Can't believe the block One, guard, two, uh, gold three, four, on the top five, left. Six. So we start with mighty blow, and now we've got to pull out. I reckon, I reckon it, it might even be a GFI blitz with a mighty blow tackle on the rookie beastman to chain out the chaos warrior to give you a second hit on the mighty blow walk, and then just bring the ball back in central. Yeah, I don't hit that at all. And then just, yeah, disengage, disengage, I'm scared, I'm scared, run away, run away. Yes. And which is why, which I didn't like the follow on the Blackhawk bear. Yeah, correct. Because he could have just limited him to one blitz with something scary. Yep. Um, I, I would have been full scared mode, I think, this turn. Yep, it would be just like watching you play um, the forest. Uh, the forest gym, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. If anyone's watching with headsets on, <laughs> I apologise. <laughs> You've just killed them. <laughs> also, if you own any pets, <laughs> don't like fireworks. <laughs> oh man! I'm just fucking around. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Shots being fired here. <laughs> Determined to get banned, he is. <laughs> By Dim Rath. <laughs> I mean, I, I banned him for the for the drug, the one I had to. But it, I mean, why ban him? Why ban him? Like, he's just making a fool of himself. <laughs> Oh. oh, one in nine. Instant one in nine. Oh, now it suddenly looks like a good turn. Mm, not that good. Oh, well, good for the chaos, do you mean? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. That I was don't know why the. Ball, that was an I'm not sure why the ball's gone forwards. No, exactly. You, I think you were totally right. Secure this, drop back. But then, you know, they, you're running out of time, right? You're down two players. They're going to tee off more on you. So maybe he just thinks if he bezes forward, he scores as soon as possible and then loses 2-1 in normal time. Maybe that sounds good for him. There is that, but... Better to score he's, he's and got... be 1-1 than be 1-0 down, right? Like, that's the thing, isn't it? But he's not even in range, so... He's got a babe, hasn't he? Yes. He's got a babe, yeah. Uh, From what I hear, Antonaft is very successful with the ladies, yep. Hey! <laughs> they renamed it Keg, didn't they? They did, yep. I'm very successful with the old Kegs. Hey! <laughs> Wasn't very successful with the babes, but <laughs> definitely nailed the Kegs. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> The problem is by taking this ground, he like he abandons these players, doesn't he? You know, whereas so it's it's tough. Like he's he's putting himself in more danger in the fight to do this, which is it's just a it's just a, a classic bash match, isn't it? It's whoever rolls the eights and gets the removals is probably going to win. So it's I mean <coughs> it's not like totally bad or like wrong or anything like that at the end of the day maximize your hits you might just win the game because you roll better but you could also minimize hits and maximize hits and make them dice rolls less 50 50 and make them more like 60 40 or something like that so yeah 
Yeah, you it's, can still uh, do a lot to help yourself, but also yeah. the dice are still going to have a big impact. I think people are going to think I'm crazy because I was saying, like, when Man Kids' game was on, I was like, base, 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 base. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, don't base, don't base. <laughs> but they are completely different scenarios and completely different games and they're for completely different reasons. But, um, you know, people may just think, what's this guy on about? Hindsight's twenty twenty at the end of the day, isn't it? So. Yeah. I certainly always think that whenever you're on Dimmy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Although I'd like to say that I called both of them before they actually happened, Jim. You know, you know. Mm. Maybe, maybe I should start playing Blood Bowl again. Maybe I'm good at Blood Bowl. Oh. And then what I'll do <laughs> is I'll, I'll get blitzed on and lose my best player on the first turn, and then concede and never play again. Yeah, that's, it. Uh, that's a perfect Bali tactic uh, used by yeah. many professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a pro Blood Bowl coach. Correct. Yeah, this is. I think now uh, Anton have, have just discovered that Mr. Throw can score this time. Yeah. This second uh... of post is like. Yeah, fuck. I can't. Yeah. If only this was a blitzer and I could score. <laughs> He's up the creek without a paddle here. Yeah. That Mr. Throw is about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Yep. Chocolate fire guard. Yeah. Or a trap door in a canoe. Mm. As the midwife uh, said when J5 was born, this has been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> a horrible mistake. <laughs> a horrible. Conceded with less than a month ban. That's a good well, point, Tom. Yeah. No, apparently, Chalice, uh, CCL is happening next season. Uh, we've had it confirmed from. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, confirmed that it will be CCL, but there is also confirmed that Blood Bowl 3 is uh, coming. Yes, it's not confirmed uh, that anyone's going to fucking be playing CCL. <laughs> or Blood Bowl 3. Yeah. Unless, unless there is a delay like the, the zombie game uh, the day before or something like that. Mm. <laughs> so delay like seven months uh -huh. because uh, someone copyrighted the this title of the game. This is not a yeah. potato, Voro. This is a potato. Yeah, um, it really is. It's yeah. a potato. It's the German variant of a potato. It, it, it's a potato. <laughs> it's <laughs> unless he rolls a one in nine, that Mr. Fro is probably dead. I mean, he can even like all he has to do is step that beastman in. Oh, actually, no. I'm being silly. Mighty bang. Gets an injury though, that's pretty nice, and it's on the rackle as well, which is 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 good. Yep. Uh, he's got to do some dodging though. Is he mm -hmm. gonna dodge this orc? Mm -hmm. He is, and he makes it, and he's yeah, he had gone. To dodge him. Gone there. I mean, he's right gone, now, the, my, right Not now there is him. two dice on the ball uh, without much hassle. Yep. There's two dice. But it's without tackle. No, it's with tackle. Right. Dodge. Well, obviously <laughs> you're going to do the free plus, yeah. yeah. Free plus, re rolls, everything. Easiest is play I ever seen. Or a GFI mm. without tackle. GFI without block or tackle, or a dodge with tackle. I think the dodge uh, with tackle's worth dodge it. With yeah, tackle dodge with tackle, uh, yeah. I mean, he's going to score next time one way. You know, if you don't stop him now, he's going to score. So the Chaos can say, okay, I can try this, it works. I can recover the ball. If not, you have to score and that give me four turns. Yeah, and they can bring this guy score. up and this guy in. Like, you know, he can move some people in first, right? Oh, is that Warrior Niggled, is he? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's Niggled. I would be punching him in the head. Yeah. <clears throat> and then running away. What else are we taking here? We're going to take the hit on the stand firmer, and then yes. we're going to do. And then we're going to stand up that guard. This guard has to come in here, and this guy has to move downfield as well. Like the. the is that Mr. Fro got a sidestep? Is he? He does. Yeah. Yes. That's that's awkward. This I wouldn't have moved that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have moved that goat. Yeah, yeah. You got to move him because you might fail this dodge. 
No, so I would have moved the guard goat, not the rookie goat. You've got to move them both because you, what if you fail the one in nine, right? You have to but have pressure. He, on them what, if he, uh, what if he sacks it? What if he sacks it? It doesn't matter. You have to have pressure. I think it's more important you have pressure if you don't fail, if you fail the one in nine, than recovery. If you do, he can recover himself. But I would have took this block first, and then you can move that goat to where that goat went, and then that other goat's free in case there is some sort of pickup. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but now he gets him back as well, right? It's like yeah, but that goat could be stood where that other goat is, and he could have the other goat free to pick up the ball. But he's already dog. free. But it's just the same. It's just a different goat that's free. No, but it was closer to the ball, Jim. No, he wasn't. He was. No, he wasn't. It was, it was both a full six. Was they? Um, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm sure. Oh wow, there you go. Four D. Oh, nothing. Yeah, I'd, I'd check. It. Oh wow. Oh man. Oh man! The thing is, he could have then gone here. Like that's the only difference, right? Yeah. If that one was there, he could have gone there. Whereas now this one could like just go. So, there. so you agree with me, but for different reasons. I'm not agreeing with you. Oh wow, Jim! Wow. <laughs> I refuse to agree with you. <laughs> this is why everyone quit D and D. It's <laughs> getting personal here. <laughs> this is why everyone quit D and D, Jim. You... Because of yay. Why did you have to say that to me? <laughs> I was managing to not be depressed for five minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. <laughs> Guess what, Jim? What? Definitely need to start playing Wasteland 3, mate. Epic game. I don't want to. Oh, Voro's proud of you. Oh, thanks, Voro. How long has he been subscribing for? <laughs> Three months. Three months, wow. That would be why. <laughs> <laughs> He's only new. <laughs> <laughs> I am positive. You fuck it, Dimmy. I just taken a mouthful of tea. <laughs> oh, he's at one in three. He's got the reroll. Oh, baby. He's done it, Mr. Throw. FTW. Although, he's, he's, he's in very. Life. He's in very, very early. Yeah, the dire straight oh, yeah. scoring. It's better, it's better than ending the half 1 0 down, though, right? And he has There's... made a permanent removal. The Chaos capped at 11 for the rest of the match. The Orcs still have two reserves, so... How'd the KOs go? Oh, he got them all back! Mm. Okay. So, so he's got a four-turn drive. Yeah, it's not gone too bad for... for it's Antonaf. not gone great. But not gone too bad. Not too bad, no. He, he, he'd be happy after those KOs. He's winning the Bash War, at least, but yeah, obviously having to go in in four is pretty shit. Five. And Orcs ain't at uh, Orcs. Chaos ain't bad at scoring with Adji three across the board. He's got a oh, and I sure hate hands. Oh, oh man. Yeah, this should be Chevron's oh, all man. days of the week. Yeah. I guess this is this is the uh oh I don't want my black orc getting bits with Claw Mighty. But it's not even POM, so this yes. is it. Like it's like you just like opening up the siphon I read. This is this is a pixel huggy uh defence, which is the should be the last thing on your mind when you're in a semi-final because yeah your whole team might survive but they might all die because they survived so yeah i i am i'm not a fan personally no of all um, the things i was ever planning for this was the last thing on my mind he could have even done the line mate he could have done the big line like you know um like you either you, like you, you gamble on him not getting a quick snap, but you can do like, rather than the chevrons, you do like the flat chevrons, mm. um, with the line. But then I think chevrons are just better to be fair. Like I if you're worried about your black orcs getting blitz and stuff, but I think chevrons is just better as well. I, I think you should yeah. Chevrons. And look, look, look. Like um, Varvar's been like. Oh. I see some space. Ooh. But the weird thing is, it looks like he's setting up to go the side where the blodge... Well, I would probably go opposite side. 
I'd yeah, probably but go then you'd have left. to blitz the stand firm, whereas this way he gets to blitz the non-stand firm. Yeah, but I wouldn't even mind blitzing the guard lineman behind him. No, yeah, no, me, me too. I, I agree with you, Demi, but I was just saying, no, that's probably what he's thinking, blitzing this one. Yeah. He might even blitz this one with a tackle, right? He's got tackle. I he would probably one, put two, the... Three, four, five. He, might be ta he might be blitzing the tackle. He might be blitzing the blitzer oh, okay. with tackle. Yeah. He can't blitz the blitzer with tackle. Yes, oh, blit can. oh right, yeah, yeah. One, two, I three, thought, four, I thought five, you meant six. the the orc blitzer that has no, tackle. No, no, <laughs> no. So like you know, the blood blitzer on there isn't so no. good if he's getting hit blitz with tackle, is he? Yeah. Oh lord. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a perfect defense, and it's not gonna matter anyway, because that's how blood ball works. Mm. Very high praise there. Good. <laughs> yeah, lord is also uh, crazy. Such an so. amazing compliment, thank you very much. Who comes thing? Uh, I mean, oh, I appreciate that comment, but I, <laughs> oh, it's a blitz. I was slightly wrong on the perfect defense. Mm. And now he needs to take a second, get rid of the semi, and uh, <laughs> and just think about this for a second because this is this is quite difficult now. Like it's it's brilliant and it's perfect, but. Like, just don't. I mean, yeah. Like now, move into chevrons. <laughs> <laughs> just take your time. I bet Vava's glad he didn't put this guy on the LOS. Eh? Oh man, if this was Blood Bowl 2020 rules, where it's like one D three plus three, is it or something like that for yeah. people that you can activate during the blitz, you can't use your skills. Yeah, yeah and like Vava's heavily invested on the right sides. I mean, to be fair, I probably would have invested on one side, um, either way. Yeah, because that was the weakness of his defensive setup, wasn't it? He yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Mm. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Well, there you go. We just both did the ta, 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 right at the right time for you as well, Tom Schnitz. <laughs> ta, 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 ta. <laughs> I'll tell you the funniest story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> is, it, is it about the Swarm Lord? <laughs> <laughs> they call him El Hordo. Hilarious. <laughs> 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 I tell you that. It's the way you tell him. <laughs> I think Kalon. I think Kalon did me a correct sound effect that I just haven't used as well. Correct. Have you actually got a correct sound effect? I think correct. I do. Correct. I love Kalon. Yep. He's a good lad. Apart from the hero click stuff, I mean that. Glorious. Good commentary, no, isn't he? Give in he's, he, mate, he's, he, he's fantastic. Like, and I will no, bubble. I think he's I will probably defend. one of the best. He's definitely better than me. Hello, Jim. And, um, I've just finished shooting my load with our artillery a nicer gun in Foxhole. Hope you're well. <laughs> not very difficult. To be fair, but, yeah. oh my God. HTK, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 30 glorious months. Oh, he's a loser. That like, geezer. He's an absolute <laughs> loser. <laughs> Foxhole, Foxhole specialist, isn't I he? I went to play Foxhole with him, and I was just finishing off my uh, thing, and then he he left me, so I had to find some other friends. Oh, yeah, I've got correct yeah. luck. Everyone can listen to this except you, Dimmy, unless you've put on. Hang on, hang on. Let me unmute it. Let me unmute it. Okay. Correct. There you go. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. Correct. It's not as exciting Correct. as some of your uh, sound clips. It's not, is it? No. Correct. Like, it doesn't make me laugh out loud for 15 minutes. No, it doesn't. No, that's that's the problem that it has. Maybe you should go... Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> that's correct, so it is. 33. <laughs> oh, HCK got called away. <laughs> My missus gave me orders. <laughs> I mean, you just had like a week off though. Like, I haven't seen you playing it when I haven't been. I saw you playing Ooh. that weird game. Oh, there's a Kaz. Mm. Is it? Oh, it's, it's a Lino? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, my, I looked at the wrong thing. Yeah, it's a Lino, but he's got two reserves. Oh, so the Orcs based, based, based. Oh, okay. That's an interesting. I think it was probably correct. Oh, right, yeah, okay, so only based on the left, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, Which is fair, because it's the two rookie uh, goats. 
Yeah, and then just get in the way here a little bit. Alright, so he's hitting back for the extra hit. He's not going to follow that. Does get a Kaz. Is that two Kaz back to back? Yep. Oof. Oof. Big, huge swing. Huge. Now I don't know if you're just muted or not here, Fime, but I haven't heard from you in a while just in case your mic's not working or something. <laughs> You are absolutely correct, my mic was in a... and my mic up. I haven't said much anyway, because, uh, you know, you need Dimi to create his environment. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll have five minutes. No, Go I was on. muted. I was actually muted, yes. Instant full mute. Yeah, I, th I thought maybe, because I thought you hadn't been on for a while. It's one of those things, isn't it? You never know if people are just, like, being quiet or if they're doing something in real life or just accidentally muted. <laughs> I accidentally take a take away during the middle of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> flash flood, Jim. Another flash flood coming. <laughs> and the flash flood was brilliant. <laughs> I mean, not brilliant for uh, Dimi's Kitchen, but uh, yeah, for comedy content, absolutely brilliant. I mean, the grass grew, didn't it? That was that was the <laughs> that was the total damage done. Oh the, man, the, the yeah. Grass, the grass is growing. <laughs> the grass, mate. We we actually got some grass seed as well. <laughs> we did, we got some grass seeds. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So I don't, he... right, so this is weird because he did. Uh, go on, mate, yeah, go on. Uh, from which uh, kebab are you ordering tonight? Oh no, I've got chicken chasseur tonight. I call it chicken chaser, but it's a uh, chicken chasseur. It's a French dish. Um, from my oh. time living in France, yeah. <laughs> Michelle's making it, I've got no idea how to make it. She never lived in France. <laughs> uh, so you will be the judge to see if she's French Oh enough. no, we eat it all the time, mate, we eat it all the time. Uh, cracking dish. If anyone hasn't had chicken chasseur, I uh, highly recommend it. Yeah, I like a bit, I like a bit of chicken chasseur. Yeah. I haven't eaten it forever. I think, I think French food is probably like, my favourite out of yeah, it, I mean some of it's like very buttery, but uh, okay, it, from yeah. a British person, that's a statement. You know, saying that the food has too much uh, butter. Yeah, I mean, it's like heart attack kind of levels of butter, but it's uh, yeah, yeah, of course, not like the British cuisine, you know, uh, scarf in butter and heart attacks. French mm. food is pretty good, so. It is, it is good, yes. Really we, nice. We, we've had a lot of Italian food this week. And it's good, but it's a bit samey. Actual, uh, actual Italian food or from a place with the name Italian on it? Oh, no, 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 like cooked in, in house. But like, Ooh. like your spaghetti bolognese, your uh, pizzas, your uh, lasagnas, you know. Getting all the carbs, eh? Oh my god, just pasta for days. I do like a bit of bolognese. I've eaten about half a field of flour. <coughs> spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is my favourite shape of pasta. And if anyone disagrees, I think they're crazy. You can be my I agree, Dimmer. I think yep, spaghetti. I spaghetti has got to be the superior pasta, be right? And yes. here is Daniel Quiz with a party of eleven uh, coming to join us Quite in the semi-final. I wonder if any of them play Necromunda. <laughs> 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 if there were eleven of them playing Necromunda, that would be a world record. <laughs> He's still crazy. <laughs> You, I like the I like the ribbons. I like the ribbons and I like penne. I love penne actually. Penne is good for different You occasions. know that the penne is a, the word penis in Spanish. Is it? <laughs> yes. Ah, do you, penne. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you like penne? <laughs> do you like penne? Oh, I love penne. Yeah, of course. My second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, there could be a hole there, you know. Oh, my God. And to add, <coughs> and to add uh, something more and more uh, Spanish, sadness is I was pena. a bit. 
I was a bit confused the other night when that guy asked me to suck his penne. <laughs> I, I was like, well, that's a bit it's of a not, weird It's not request. even boiling. It's not even boiling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's too hard. I like it soft. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I was like, what? You want me to suck your penne before you chew it? Oh, God. Oh, God. And sadness is penna. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Has he blitzed yet? He's, yeah, he can he can open up this right hand side beautifully, Jim. Can you Beauty. see it? Can, can you, you really see the play, Jim? I'd just go to the centre. I would just go to the centre. I mean, like, how has this happened? <laughs> I, I have been talking. He made two cars and... Yeah, but even so, like. Yeah, I don't know how. That was the problem with really the basin on the, the, the flank. I haven't really been watching, to tell you the truth. Oh, Jim. I was just letting uh, Dimi use the war oh uh, my God, as much as possible. It. Why would he not blitz with the Chaos Warrior? Like, Why would he not blitz with this one and go up the middle? Like, yeah, I hate Jim. this blitz. This is just it's dumb blitz. He's putting, he's putting him in the way and he can't hit this guy. Like, that was, this, is, this is the blitz. 100% this is the blitz. That was not good. That, that was not good. That was not my favourite blitz. Not it wasn't my done. second favourite. It wasn't my third favourite. No. I think I think it was about my fifth favourite blitz that one. It's not what I would have done, but who can say no. if it's good or bad? Read uh, the team I... name. I do wonder if he's role playing it. But the thing is, he's got like a record of like twenty five wins and like oh, two draws man. and two losses or something. Like his record's insane with this team, and he's in the semi final of Chalice, likely to be in the final of Chalice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thompson is the Warriors are claw mighty blow here. He could have chained them out, pushed them all over the other side, put the guard guy up done a 2d with a mighty blow beastman like it was bob's your father's brother mate it was easy easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy polka dot marini whatever the words are and uh yeah i was i'm not impressed with that time no not what i would do. but it, it's probably gonna be all right apart from these black orcs standing up He's only just over the halfway line. That's the problem. And he's got to go max move the last two turns. Well, he's going to get. He's going to get like so. This is going to be a one D, right? So the the black orc with a stand firm stands up, and then the the, the guard geezer stands up, and then we're going to one D that warrior on the right from the end zone, like from the touch line, um, and hope for a free plus. And then we're just going to base everything else up, I guess. It's uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. That goat should not be there. Either. He should have shot off down the field, right? That tackle geezer is out of the game, right? Yeah. Or, or if you're gonna tag him, like tag him from behind at least. Where he? Where he? <laughs> Some quite uh, interesting. I'm not it's sure what the orcs can do right now besides, yeah, getting 1D and pray. He's going to have to 1D that warrior. He has to 1D that warrior and then force the beastman into the middle of the pitch. Um, yeah, it's a bit... It's, But he's got that He's got that black orc free as well. Because like Jim says, he's only got two turns, so he needs to be on the line before... Oh, where's he going? That's not the right way. I think that's not the... Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, I'll just let you walk down the right flank. Go on, mate. You score. I don't really fancy the final Go against on, me. That was horrendous. Sorry. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Uh, Find me. Tell us uh, good stories. That was, uh, that was not the right direction. Well, I'm waiting to see what happens here with the... Oh, it works. Not punish yet. So what's he thinking here? He's thinking... This is going to be enough to stop the score. Mm. He doesn't follow that. Okay. This does something, but it's not the right something. One, two, three, four, five, mm. six. Oh, that's GFIs. I mean, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like potato ishy, potato ishy. But like, 
He could have run that tackle guy back anyway, he's gonna get tagged again anyway, but like, if he pushes that Chaos Warrior, it just shuts down this whole left flank. Mm. Yeah, look, there you go, tag him straight away. Maybe, maybe... Not take the middle oh. of the square after all. Let's not, let's not go that far, Tom. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> Gets the power. So is this going to be full sideline cage? Uh, this is going to be GFI's and sideline cage, isn't it? It looks like it. Against the Dodger. Uphill. Five plus in. Yeah. Ooh. Don't know if I like this. Not what I would have done. That's it. I was looking at blitz in that stand firm and then dodging out, but then there's all kinds of issues with turn order in. Uh, I mean, it's 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 kind of tricky from Anton, but like I think he could have shut it down completely. Like, because especially with him being stand firm, you imagine that orc is a uh, blodge and he's now like in between the eight and the four, right? Yeah. And then he has to activate that warrior. He's got no blitz. Has he used his blitz? No, he's got a blitz. Okay. So he'd probably have to blitz him. If he doesn't get the pow, he's still there and it's all dodges and it's hell on earth. I mean, he hasn't got stand firm on him, so... No, but he's blodge. He's blodge. Yeah, but he can just push him one, two, three, four, five. And he runs up and then he double GFIs in front. Like, it's not that bad. No, but he could be on that line, like in between the eight and the four. Oh, like so on the sideline. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that's, yeah. The, that's the square I blitz from on the one D. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And then like, and then if you push him, then like, yeah, you push him back, but everyone's got to dodge through. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. But now he gets and then, to dodge and in for an uphill surf, which is all right. It's like a five plus. Five plus three. Pl well, it's red six dice, plus. isn't it? So it's five, five six plus. Six plus dodging. Oh, three tackle zones. Yeah, correct. Correct. So yeah, about uh, thirty percent in. And then. Uh, it's forty. Forty-four percent is it for a surf on red dice? Hmm. Probably. Hey. So, it's not that low. It's not one of the cars. That's what a huge. Yes, that's got to be an apo. That's the abo. He has to avoid, and he has. Yep. Huge. I mean, I guess he's just gone for the surf because he can't like blitz this warrior and stand in front or anything. All he's got is the surf, so just do that first. Fuck it. Which one of these lads is Russian? Is Valvar Russian? Then is he? Is it? I think the both might is, be. Uh, yes, and don't have the. They've Most of them done. have the. Mm -hmm. Both got names like that. Yes. <laughs> Which is probably I, just I don't from, think there is a yeah. blood ball in other languages that use that kind of uh, signs. Or even letters. Russian for Vava. And mm. um, what's his name? Anton. Anton Avids. Anton Dubeck. Russian. It could be a Russian of. It could be. Yeah. I'm also Russian as well. So. <laughs> well, I'm... looking real bad for Antonaf now, isn't he? His apple's gone, he's he's down to 11. He didn't remove any more Chaos, so it's 11 versus 11 with the Chaos receiving. It's looking real bad for him. <laughs> Tadal misspelled his own name. <laughs> 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 All my stats, they don't exist. Oh dear. Is this a GFI? He's gonna fail the GFI, isn't he? Why does why does Daedle Quest not exist? Ah, it's cause uh EAB hates him. <laughs> oh man. Diced again. <laughs> what about Flabs and Scarp? <laughs> Whatever his name is, Flapple Scarple. Flag Flagger Schlapple. Flagger Flagger Schnapple. That's you actually sounded Swedish and like Yoda at the same time. There you go. Flogger, flobble, wobble. Oh, flobble, wobble, wobble.
Jim, do you reckon if you if you were in a pub, right, and you heard a Swedish conversation and a Norwegian conversation, do you reckon you could differentiate between the two? No fucking chance. I don't think I could either, yeah. No fucking chance. No, I don't think so. And even if it's a Danish added to the question and a Finnish, even less. <laughs> no, no, I would not agree. But like you could you could tell between a Spanish and an Italian like conversation, right? Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Yes, unless we try, you know, to confuse you, but uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Find me, it definitely could. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, I think I could differentiate if someone is speaking in Spanish or Italian. Yes, it would be, you know, very difficult to get me on that. <laughs> they also have like a similar like English accent. Like when Danish and uh, Swiss people speak English, they have a similar accent in English. That's Yes, it's called actual proper English, same <laughs> as the Norwegian and all that, you know, they, they, they can Yeah, I can't understand it, mate, I can't understand it, I got clear what it's saying. <laughs> By the way, the other day talking about pubs, the other day uh, at the pub I met a nice couple from uh, that area of uh, England that has his uh, people in the GFW, with the GF... Uh, Johnny B. Good and the right on the others, you know, uh, that yeah. part of England. Oh, yeah. the Northerners, yeah, the monkeys. Yorkshire. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I could barely understand a single word. And they were actually a couple, nice couple and all that, but they were exactly as a, I could imagine uh, people from Yorkshire is. <laughs> mate, I, I don't understand them either, mate, so <laughs> you're not alone. <laughs> It's like, wow. Well, instant dub skulls, but the reroll gets a removal, as is tradition. Oh, there you go, yes, yes, that's how I like. First time, I start your uh, <laughs> half with a dub skull, so you get immune, is, uh, immune versus dice in comments. Mm. Oh, uh, they won one. Uh, and, and the guy was wearing one of these uh, hats, like the Peaky Blanders one. No, oh, yes. Yeah. And I made the joke, oh. why? Because you're getting bold. <laughs> <laughs> they scream in this game at each other, they're Swedish. The Danish guys get quite animated. There were some guys from Holland as well at uh, UKTC. And uh, I don't really recognise the Dutch accent specifically over Swedish or Danish. No, I'd recognise Dutch. It's, it's, yeah, it's difficult for me. I tell you what, I tell you what, it was hilarious that The Rock one time did like a Swedish accent and it was incredible. But uh, I wouldn't recognise like Swedish. It's funny enough, I can kind of tell when in when Swedish people are speaking English, I can kind of tell that they're Swedish. But um, I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't have a clue what, what Swedish is. Yes, because a uh, difference was around the people of Darlington, they tell uh, to use the words thanks and please. Darlington? He's not from Darlington, he's from Darlow. Darlington is a different area. Yeah. <laughs> Darlow. Uh, no, no, fuck with me. I check Google Maps and there is a, pl a place called Darlington. There is Darlington, yeah, yeah, but it's not Darlow. And it's a town. <laughs> it is, oh, yeah, most places in England are, to be fair. Mm -hmm. It is, it is Darlington, you know, but we do tend to call it Darlow. Darlow! This is, don't this worry, is... I live in Edinburgh, which say if you see the word they written, it's like, oh the fuck, you reached that pronunciation. <laughs> this is uh, slightly aggressive from the chaos. Very aggressive. Blitz in a stand firm, I gets the pow. And another oh, he's, not he's, wow. he's not a stand firmer. He's not a stand firmer. No. I, I apologise. Two apologize. cars in a KO is is basically GG, isn't it? I mean, don't say it's over. But... Without the palm as well. Yeah, without palm, just this is how Dvav has done it, hasn't he? Just absolute dice lord. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad, eh? Uh, the question was always, you know, how the orcs can take the ball from this uh, chaos team. You know, in offense, yes, they have their uh, tactics and all that, but the hidden defense is like, I don't know, is uh, 
Unless the chaos make a big mistake like rolling what the skulls or something like that. Mm. I think the ball is very safe. Mm. I mean, how the orcs do it is they separate the chaos. So they they knock those two warriors over on the their left or the chaos is right. And then they separate them. So they split them left to right. Yeah, but to split them, you need to invest a lot of players, so your players are also dead. Yeah, he does, he does. I mean, they're all and, like, three players dead. Like, so ideally, he wants to be blitzing um, the AV-8 as well, with Mighty Blow, and not the AV-9. <laughs> I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he was a bit passive. Like, he, I don't know. He let him get hit a lot. Like the orcs, kind of like went for the fight and then got a bloody nose and went. I don't really want to fight anymore. <laughs> 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 and then they fell apart. Uh, so he, he, like I say, like with that particular, like you, you do the GFY to make the blitz on the rookie. You chain out the chaos warriors, but you keep your guys all in line together with the strength and stuff like. It's horrible when you're playing against Claw Mighty. It's always a difficult time and stuff. But, like, going... I, I mean, he didn't even really go full contact. But I think he, he banked on the first few turns. Getting removals and stuff. Which, you, I mean, you can. And sometimes it will work and it will be fine. But sometimes it won't work and it won't be fine. And um, I think this is the latter, unfortunately. Only Dio would call this fine right now. Uh, Dio would probably say this is still fine. Um, he'd go, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, no problem at all. Sure, we'll yeah, Dio, Dio would probably say, oh, I've seen something that gives me an opportunity or hope or whatever. Like, D the thing is, the one thing you got to say about Dio, right, is he never quits. He never gives up and he always plays really well. And that's... Except like, that time he tried to win challenge with Amazons, got destroyed and disappeared from the Blood Bowl scene for three months. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he also talks a lot of hope. Like, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. But, like, he doesn't give up. And he, he plays... He plays the percentages. And, uh... Like, it's not over. It's not over uh, for the Orcs. It's grim. And it's not great. Um, And, like, what he needs to do is forget about the final and just give himself as much chance of winning this game as possible so he's got to now put players on the line that he didn't want to do yeah beforehand yeah. and you know like um, now i would say this was over but i'd still be trying my hardest and i would still think there was a you know a, obviously a chance but just a very fucking small chance right but it can, basically is over like something it is something it outrageous is has to happen so you've got to you've got to hang in there and hope that that outrageous thing happens you know like but so you, yeah you know because it, it can so you found yeah. something is bound to He happen needs to start hitting the, the AV8 uh, with Mighty Blow. He needs to start hitting the AV8 the with Mighty Blow. Because end of the day, double skulls are going to happen. Ones are going to roll happen. So you always have to try that quick turnover. You know, first action of the turn for Chaos Disaster, and you get a, a free turn on there. Yeah, but all you can do is put your, you know, give yourself a chance, isn't it? That's it. Hang yeah. in and make sure that when the when the thing happens. I mean, basically, when um, Tyson Fury got spanked by Wilder, we all thought that was over, right? Yeah. And he got up, he gave himself a chance. Yeah. But yeah, he wants to hit some AV-8. Oh, there's a pal. This is on an... He's niggled, is he? He's niggled as well, that Blitz old Yeah, it looks like, sure looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Just one. You could have strong. Like this it. is a yeah. This is a strong position from the chaos. This is a better turn from Varvo. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Yeah. Well, he gets to level this guy up now. I mean, you can't blame him for being very confident. So many players up. Massively confident. Mm. I'd be. I what? would be as well. Do the orcs? I don't think they go in yet. I don't think they need to go in yet. Oh, he's gonna go in, only. Uh, no, don't do that, bro. Don't do that, that. Oh. Tyson Fury. He's a bit of a dickhead. I don't know if he's a dice lord, but I mean, I like him, but he's definitely a bit of a dickhead. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's all right. He's all right. He has a way with words. 
Yeah, he's he sells good. fights. He sells. He says yeah. a lot of stuff just to sell fights. But yeah, that's yeah. that's the problem with boxing. It's just like there's a load of BS. Yeah. Here we go. Aviate. Oh, he fails the cheer fire. Oh, oh double oh, one and well, <laughs> the disaster. Oh, the disaster okay. where, 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 where we're waiting for <laughs> happened, but for the orcs. Uh, that's, okay, now I'm feeling pretty sad if I'm Anton. Don't say it's over. The funny thing is, that's not that much more over than it was because it was already so over that that doesn't make it much. It more was over. Like, it, like, to be fair, I think that is. That could have been a removal. Like, this is the... this is a lot closer to over than it was. To be fair, yes. Jim. it is. But like, it was also it was also so close to over that it wouldn't bother me that much. Genuinely, like this is really what like... for, for Anton or for Vava? Yeah, this was probably it was probably like five percent. He was probably up, he was probably five percent to win before that blitz, and now it's put him down yeah. to like one percent. I think he's driving him down a bit. To be fair. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think he had to take that blitz and, and you know get his team back together. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'd rather know, I'd rather on. like I know this sounds nonsense and it probably is nonsense, but I'd rather not score and go in at nil nil <clears throat> than uh, go in at one one. The problem is going in one nil down, right? That's the thing. At least if you score, you can't go in one nil down. Yeah, but and nil nil. At nil nil, you don't give him the LOS hits. But that's do you? not. A, that's not like no one's scoring to not go in nil nil, right? He's he's scoring because he doesn't want to go in one nil down, and there was a real yes, chance I of mean, him going one yeah, nil down. Yeah, I understand it. I understand it. Chaos was going to get the ball. No, what in the first drive? In the first drive, I mean, nah. Really well, they were at the end. At the end of it, they were, but there was no reason for the ball to be where it was on turn three, like or turn four, or whatever it was. So. Ah, okay, yes. You are talking about hypothetically. Yeah, the, I'm just uh, saying, like uh, turtle for the draw, like because one one is way worse than. But it was only nil, turn nil, three. It was, because... it was really hard, man. I, I can understand him thinking that was really. Oh, I can understand it. Yeah, it. like and like honestly, like I say all this stuff, and like you guys think. Oh, like if I was in the game, like I'm, like you have different emotions when you're playing, and you you see things as worse than what they are, or better than what they are, and he has you... already <laughs> lost two players, two players were out for the game. That was it, wasn't it? He lost yeah. the two players, and then he had that shaky turn, like, and I think that was a reaction to the fact that he lost two players rather than, like, <clears throat> if you have a plan in your head before the game starts, which probably every good coach should have. That can go out the window very rapidly, but like he should also build into that plan that you expect to lose a couple of players. So like, it like it went badly for him. Like he, he picked the offense. He probably wanted to bang. He like set up and uh, like set up the the hits and everything. But then I felt that he was just giving away too much contact in this particular matchup. Like against other teams, by all means, base, 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 bang, bang, bang. Like like that's what your team's designed to do. But in this matchup, it's like if you want to have a war. For the whole game, like you're gonna lose eventually, providing the dice rolls are average. Like, hey, you, it's a. Uh, so I would limit. I would want to hit AVA every turn with Mighty Blow, and then only leave him a Claw Mighty hit with a Blitz. And at the end of the day, you you still might lose that game because it's Claw Mighty Blow, and he might roll the things right. So. Very, like, no, I'm not taking any way away, uh, anything away from Anton. Like, very hard game. Like, you are the underdog coming into it, and like, all you can do is very, is... very complicated at that time. Yeah, because you, well, no, you just players, and you're risking scoring quickly at least give you the task. Well, he probably, he probably lost the two. If he didn't lose those two players, he probably doesn't lose his bottle and he probably holds back a bit. Yeah. And then but, once he lost those two players, he went, oh, I don't think I'm going to score unless I do it now. Yeah. Yes, and even then he left it the could be, easy you know, It could easy. be a cascade of uh, casts and injuries and all that. And yeah. then yeah, you don't score reason. and you lose your team and the chaos scores. Yeah. No, it's a completely reasonable reaction. At least if you score, you are one thousand. You know, you score the thousand. That's it. Now you have to defend. You recover your chaos. You can yeah, but you take the hits. Rest. You take the hits is the problem. But, like, he's not that scary. He's only got core mining. You're going to take one anyway. You're only taking one additional core mining. Yeah. Uh, and he had three idiots to put in the LOS anyway. Mm. So it was like, that's ah, all right. But then he does the pixel huggy setup and not the chevrons. So like, 
If he did the Chevron, like there, were, if he did the Chevrons, it's a different story. If he if he did the Blitz with the Blitzer on the one D and shut the left side down, it's a different story. Like there's there's so many. Like I feel like he was quite negative about it after getting like removed, and like that's I mean to be fair, like no disrespect to him, like it's easy to be negative when you're down players, like but yeah, but I don't think it was necessarily wrong. That, that my my I mean I agree that that is what he did, and that there could have been an element of panic, but it doesn't mean he was wrong to panic. You know, like you should panic if things go south. Like that's the thing when I always say like you know it's over before obviously the the yeah it's over gone. yeah yeah you know you're saying it's over because unless something insane happens it's over. So you have to then try and make something. Insane happened, so he thought, "Look, if I just carry on playing normally, I'm gonna get turned over, and I'm gonna go in one nil down." And yeah, but that, that was fine. That but, was fine, Jim. It was the setup. Yeah, yeah, the setup was terrible. The setup was terrible. But, but, but his decision to score early, I don't think, it w is necessarily wrong. That's all I'm saying. You know, that that could well have been as just a sensible, rational, good decision to score early. Yeah, and but he gave him. Like, the, he also gave him the sideline cage by not. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I didn't that. like his defense like, at all. I didn't like so his defense like, at all. But I, th I think the early score was was probably fine. But then, I, like, I, I think that you need to be like a, a like an experienced Blood Bowl coach to know by not blitzing that warrior, you're going to be reduced to a six plus red die surf. Like a very very good Blood Bowl coach will go if I don't put that guy there, he's going to sideline cage. And it's going to be a six plus red die surf. What are the odds on that? Like, do you know what I mean? And I, I don't think very good blood bowl coaches would take those odds at that no. point. No, yeah, no, I think oh. they'd break that on defense for sure. Yeah, but I don't think it was necessarily a mistake. His thing. But he has been I banged out. Think. He's been banged out, mate. Like he's mm. like he's been like not diced, but well, kind of kind diced. Of dice, but yeah, yeah it is a kind of dicing. But there are things that he could have done that could have eased that or made it I mean it, it could have been a horrible dice in either way like he could have played it brilliantly and been diced anyway so like yep. a lot of the stuff I'm saying is a load of BS but <laughs> but there are things that I've seen that I think he could have done that would have I think it should have been his uh, much more uh, aggressive on his uh, defensive setups and defensive uh, mindset it, just chevron or do the flat line or whatever like it was very it's, pixel huggy yes and it's fine to be pixel huggy when it's 1 0 on your turn 8. Like, it's not fine to be pixel huggy when you're giving your opponent four turns to score back. Like, Indeed, there's, yeah. there's a difference, right? Yeah. Oh, there is a chain here. Things happening. Maybe. Whoop, a cars. Man, is he dead? Is for a miss next? No. When you're playing versus a uh, claw and you are orcs or a uh, dwarf or the. The lizards. The clock is ticking when it comes to claw. You know, at some point it's, it's gonna work. It's, you know, you can be you can be lucky a few times or like that, but in the end you have to assume that you're gonna suffer damage and you're gonna lose players. So better be aggressive, try to bully them with the hits and the armor eight pieces, because after all, this this chaos team doesn't have pylon. It's only too close. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so mighty blow comes, and armor. Like that's what uh, I said. Mighty, like it's kind of equal bashing, right? When, when if yes, you look at it, mighty blow. It is yes. when you put it that way, Jim. Yeah, he's the yeah mighty blow that. versus armor eight is really really good, mm -hmm. and he could have you know maybe do try to do fouls with the liners without the skills mm -hmm. or whatever it is. You know, just you need to be just to bully the chaos. You know, to get them uh, to be on the defensive all the time. Yeah, because that's the thing, because the, the, yeah. the Chaos have two you Mighty see, Blow. See, so the Chaos... See. No, no, let, let me say this, because I've been waiting to say it. The Chaos had two Mighty Blow versus Armor 9, and two Mighty Blow versus Armor 7, which is like having four Mighty Blow versus Armor 8. So they don't even have that much... You know, they didn't really have that much more power than the Orcs. So, yeah, no, you're right, carry on. The, all I was going to say is, like, look at the Orcs now, right? He's took all those hits, and nobody is in contact. And that's all he needed to like not all he needs to do, but that's what he should have aimed for every turn of the and game. He could have still just had a guy blitz and uh, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like that's the thing, isn't it? You just like when you're orcs against chaos with claw, like you wanna take all the hits you can and minimize like it's almost like a mini game, like you wanna no, uh, and, like, this has been this is game. like that's the actual game. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. But it's like 
Yeah, it's been rough for him and it's gone badly, but there's a few hits that he gave him that he didn't need to give him. Yeah. Um, and like, yes, it may have made zero difference at all. The outcome may have been exactly the same, but it's all fine margins and it's, well, you know, chasing slivers. And I hate to say it, but yeah, chasing slivers of equity. Isn't it? Slivers so, of uh, equity. I hate myself right now, Jim. I'm gonna go and have a shower. I'll be back by the see you. <laughs> oh, man, a shower! Eh? The first one of the year. <laughs> hey, do, do you know what? There's a case for the chaos literally not scoring to try and get this beast man a Kaz, a completion, and a touchdown to get him piling on for the final. <laughs> There's actually the argument for it. Like Elliot with his fucking tackle that he got in the in the fucking round of sixteen or whatever when he played me in the next round, I got a hate of that that he that he failed to score in normal time, then he got like two two or three cars in overtime and leveled his guy up. Literally, Vavar could do that here. Like it's not a terrible idea. Piling on would be really nice for the final. But I mean, he did hand off to the three SPP guys, so I guess he's gonna level him and get you know a wrestle or a tackle or whatever. But uh. Wouldn't hate. I really wouldn't hate deliberately like narmering him to uh, look for two Kazna touchdown or something. If he levels a regular goat, I think the choice is dirty player. Yeah, DP. Yeah, yeah. DP because be he has enough tackle anyway. So yeah. Yeah, DP. And truth to be told, the one doing the blitzes is gonna be the mighty blow uh, claw tackle piece anyway. Yeah, but you know, having an extra tech tackle or an extra tentacles, even you know, could could like you could, you could literally give them tentacles. It wouldn't be terrible to like just something to try and stop the elves molesting him. But yeah, DP makes more sense for a where is my brains team. <laughs> oh, side the step. Where there you go. He so used the skill. To God. <laughs> choose the square where to die. God, this is a massacre, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's brutal. That's that's. The thing is, once numbers go below a certain level, it's just pure destruction because they're going to get uh, so many hits. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? The, uh, the, what's it called? The cascade effect. Yeah, snowball, yeah, that's it. The yeah. snowball effect is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now he's got that little strength, he can't stop the claw mighty hits coming in and stuff. Not that he's really tried yet, but you know, he can base up him with a bunch of guys can't and generate more claw mighty hits and everything. It just ends up really, really... He's basically scary. playing for tackle right now, isn't he? Yeah, I, I, w I, would, I, would, I would really think about not scoring to get try and get two cards on this guy. <laughs> Genuinely. Hey, I, don't, I don't think he wins the final with this team. Yeah. With, I don't think he does. With his chaos uh, team, three tacklers. I don't know. Uh, I don't think he wins it. They have the potential of uh, deleting the elf team. What's the TV? Like this, What's the TV win. of the chaos team? Also, also what else does this uh, chaos team need? The, the, the pylon, yes, but the pylon is six SPP away. I mean, he it. just at this stage he needs as much tackle as he can possibly get. I'd go for it. I'd literally make this three dice blitz, and you wouldn't, Jim, though, would you? I would. I would literally. I would make this three dice blitz. See if I get the cars, and then make the blitz on the last turn. See if I get the cars, and if either of those two hits is a cars, like I would GFI here if I have to. What's this? One, two, oh. three, four, five. It doesn't have to GFI. Three dice blitz. This, this, right? Three dice blitz. Wait, this, this. Wait a second, gentlemen. Off. We have a big event on the chat here. Lot six eight nine, saying that the. Uh, be thankful to Nick for a bit in school in the surf. El Espari does all the three, five, eight, nine future speeches. Um, that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, that's not that just because Kadenik won that game, Lord, that does not mean that Skuro is not gonna be the champion of SFL season nine. <laughs> yes, three, five, eight, nine, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, coming, that... it's coming. Yep. <laughs> A win for either me or Nick will probably end up in the hands of Skrull. <laughs> the question is in which PayPal is where the money going to end. Yeah, so he's, got a, he's still got a pretty strong chance, to be honest. 
I'd back myself all good anything against uh, Flicky's Lizard Man team. Liz Flicky's Lizard Man team isn't great. And then um, there's what? There's Chunter's Skaven team, which isn't re really isn't amazing. And there's a uh, Fanfox Zorg team, which also isn't amazing. So good chance for either me or Nick to win. And if we do, that's a win for Skuro. There's a Kaz, but not from the Claw Mighty. See, if he'd done what I'd said, I max 3D, then he'd been on 72 SPP. And then, if he's on 72 SPP, then I would Nama. I would totally Nama. I would take this to overtime on purpose and try and get him accomplishing a touchdown or a Kazma touchdown and go in the final with, with piling on. But, you know, who's to say? That's right. Even yes, Jim. He's going to Dalgot is going to get the MVP. I'm calling uh, him. Hey, that was more the more reason to, to make that blitz, exactly. right? If you make that blitz 72, then you're in MVP range. So it was just either way, he had to make that that blitz on 3D with that player. Terrible. What a tuddy. What a tuddy. Terrible player. <laughs> no, glorious play. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. How many finals you been in, Jim? One. And how did that go? Got diced. Hey! <laughs> how many finals have I been in, Jim? No. Not in CCL. <laughs> been in many finals. Oh, I've been in many finals, not including not just CCL. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. How many won? Uh, two. Well, no, four. Mm. Mm. Blitz pit and. Uh, Crown of Sand and two stunty. Crown of Sand? Oh, that must be a fumble ting, yeah, isn't it? Fumble major. And two stunty major. Like, the, you know, the stunty league majors, which, you know, obviously aren't 100%. Worthy. You know what I'm going to say to you next, uh, in two months' time? What? I'm going to be like, how many times have you met Gdanik? Yeah. And you're going to oh. say none. And I'm going to say one. I might yeah. say one. I don't know if I'm oh! going to go. I might go, Dimmy. It oh, doesn't entail know. leaving the house, though, doesn't it? So I might. I also might not go. <laughs> mate, I'm coming from Hastings, mate. Oh, that's sorry. Like yeah, the ends I'd, of the earth, mate. But I'd have to leave I'm the basically house, coming from Mordor. Look, yeah. Jimmy, if you're worried about a place to stay, the studio I rented has a window that looks toward the station. So you can just sleep on the station and I have a look on you to see <laughs> if you've been stabbed or something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I've got a double bed. Just quietly. Hey! All right. Can sleep with Jimmy. Oh, let's or fucking the go. The uh, there is no fucking chance. <laughs> I will share a bed with anyone of the Blood Bowl community. Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's. that's very cute. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a good lad. <laughs> Hank has got a little love wagon, and he? he's got his little fan. Right. Anyway, um, yeah, great game. Yeah, see you later. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Um, yeah. There <laughs> Eighteen armor breaks to five. Wow. 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 And uh, yeah, you know, congratulations to Vava. Commiserations to Andalab. Look at that. Thirteen removals from eighteen AV breaks. Ridiculous dice. Um, it was a comedy mega, but what can you do? Um, thank you very much, Fimir and Dimmy. Glorious to have you in the booth. Yeah, Always. interesting one. Interesting one. Feel a bit. I feel a bit bad for Anton. And uh, yeah, it was a tough game for him. But it was a very tough game. It was definitely tough things, game. Tough things game. he can look at. I think, um, and probably. Uh, take on board. Oh my god, that Gdanik emote, wow. Yeah. Wow, there you go, Jesus Gdanik. Christ. <laughs> there you go. What happened there? And yep, uh, you know, again, thanks to our viewers in Cyprus. <laughs> in Cyprus, I hope they enjoy the game. Hang on, so we had Greece last game, and now we've got yes, Cyprus. Yes, yes we're know. going there. The, the, we're going the like... If the next Orders. one is Turkey, the next one is Turkey, it's going to be, you know, like a war. We're going to start a war. <laughs> and there you go, on that bombshell. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.